Breaking news, the new ban list, the new pack, it's all been announced and we were right. The leaks, my leaks again. Who doubted my leaks? How dare you? The new Crystal Beast, the new G Golem, the new Gem Knight, and the very spicy, spicy leak that Ashizu was coming next pack before tier limit. No one believed it. I could not believe it. We were doing all these leak disclaimers and all that nonsense. I even started leaking the next month's pack, April's pack. Watch out for that video probably tomorrow. Now, enough gloating and bloating. Let's talk about what's good. What's the ban list? What the heck's the ban list? Ooh, okay, upcoming forbidden limited list update. Uh, you care about the new selection pack first. Let's see that. Okay, the G Golem, alrighty, and the new Gem Knight Lady, very cool. Just says two of these though. And I guess I will just leak it right here. Since we're getting all leaky, I'm gonna go in the Discord. We're doing this live. I'm gonna show you what the pack looks like even though you don't care. So I'm loading that up right now. And uh, boom. So here you go. Well, this is the April pack, so chill on that. That's April. This is the pack we're getting. This is what we've been leaking like crazy. And it's still not in game. Now, with that said, what is the ban list update? Upcoming Forbidden Limited list. We know that the Ashizu cards in tier limit are gonna come pre-banned, but will it be enough? Let's go. Forbidden Limited expected date, March 9th. We're gonna be doing a $10,000 card giveaway that day of TCG cards. No matter where you live around the world, we're gonna send it to you. Cards to be semi-limited. Keldo, Kelbeck, Agido. Is that it? Is that it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are we are we gonna enter tier freaking zero or what? So you have to be asking the question of what the heck does that mean? Just for those cards to be semi-limited? Let's type in exchange of the spirit. To my knowledge, is the best way to find all of them. Agido, untouched, limited to one in TCG and OCG. Kalbeck, semi-limited. Limited to one in TCG Untouched in Japan. Kaldo, limited to one in both. And Mudora, limited to one in just TCG. So TCG across the board, everything limited to one. And I think if we go to the meta of Japan, OCG meta, can we get like a good breakdown of this? What is this? The tier limit's still clapping. The tier limit with, with the Shizu cards are still, look at that, e even with the limits. They have this semi-limited, limited to one, 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 and it's still dominating the meta. And without that, it is, you wanna see what it looks like without that, what we're potentially entering. If we go to YCS Pasadena, the Pasadena top 32, have you ever seen more of a single deck type in a top 32 of a YCS? I have never, back in my day, I thought Lightsworn was tier zero. Lightsworn was like maybe 15, 16 out of the top 32. What the heck? And you know, we're not gonna get it full, full, full power, but semi-limited across the board besides one. So okay, that is, this is 10. And we'll just have two, four, six, nine. So from a first place deck list playing 10, we're instead gonna have nine. We'll have a Guido, you know, the less popular one. That's quite interesting. But then the question becomes, what are they going to do with the tier limit cards that's coming next month? What can they do? If this is still good, limit to one, limit one, limit one, semi-limit, well, what did TCG do? Merly limit one, all the girls are limited to one, all of them. And the the boy, the, the harem boy, the rhino heart, he's at three, and so is the field spell. But the problem is they're not going to ban Kit Kalos. This card is banned in both games. OCG, TCG banned. And you better believe it, Tierlman abuses Sprite Elf. <laughs> they do. They You could re-summon Diviner, you could summon Merly with it. Diviner's gonna mill one of the fairies on your opponent's turn, and that's gonna trigger mill 10, then shuffle six cards from either player's graveyard back in the deck. You're gonna summon Merly during the opponent's turn with the Sprite Elf to then trigger a bunch of fusion summons on your turn. It's nuts. It's crazy. And I think if every tier limit card were to come out limited to one, the deck's gonna still be nuts. 
I, I, I think we're going to, you know, well, well what's tier zero? What, are, we enter, are we already in tier zero? Some people think that this is already too much. This essentially means that Runic Sprite is about 24% of topping decks, not decks entering tournaments, but 24% of the total toppage. And this is since the latest banlist announcement after the Runic cards got hit. And I, I think this is gonna, Runic Sprite's probably gonna drop to like tier two uh, for this, but you, you know what? You really shouldn't even be looking forward to the tier limit cards yet because they're not coming until next month. So the big question is, what are the Ashizu cards gonna do right now? I don't know. I just don't know. What what other deck is going to play these? The, the two machine-looking ones, if they are sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, they mill five for both players. And the humanoid-looking ones, on the field or in the graveyard, they could quick effect shuffle three cards from either player's graveyard back to the deck. So the great, crazy thing about this against Runic is they target three runic cards in the graveyard to return back to the deck with a field spell. This completely stops that effect from drawing. They don't get to draw, you return them for them. So, and we did not get a preemptive limit on orange light. Limited to one in TCG OCG because of the, 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 the thing, the, the Ashizu cards, right? Look, three, three orange light, 10 of the Ashizu cards. We could play nine. So we play nine Ashizu cards and three Herald of Orange Light. I'm thinking I'm just gonna put that in Sprite. What do you think? That's uh, what I'm thinking is what would probably be done while we're waiting. And we're not gonna even have the Bestial cards when the tier elements are wreaking havoc. So this is just wild. And we're having a big, what's considered big for Konami, we're having the big Duelist Cup. So you, we do want to talk about that real quick. Where is the Duelist Cup announcement? I don't know where it is, but the Duelist Cup is coming, and with the Duelist Cup is going to be the big tournament that soon will be qualifying you for Worlds. They may even announce that it qualifies you for Worlds right now, and that's where we're just going to be dominating with Sprite. Sprite's gonna dominate the Duelist Cup, and then after the Duelist Cup, that's when Tier Limit's gonna come with the Ashizu cards already being in the game. And I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this because in Duel Links, this is the the whole cycle of Duel Links was they would let a deck dominate the KC Cup, which is the Duelist Cup, and then they would kill the deck after. So are they planning on gutting Sprite because of the Duelist Cup that's coming up next that it's gonna dominate? Or they don't even need to because Tier Limit's gonna come up and sweep it. And if you take Sprite off the screen, ready? Uh, I'm gonna visually show you. That's a circle. All right, look how diverse the game is. Look at all this. This looks pretty diverse to me, does it not? That's crazy. So is our decks like Sprite bad for the game? You tell me, are you enjoying Sprite? I I'm not trying to like fear monger here. I'm just excited about this announcement and just talking about the future. And then tier limit is what? Gonna just delete tier three? Are we just gonna have tier zero in tier one and then tier nothing? I don't know. Uh, it's a crazy thing to think about. I'm excited for it. I I'm not worried about anything, but uh, I'm I'm shocked. I am shocked that they did not hit the Ashizu cards harder. And uh, beyond that, I think that uh, Exchange of the Spirit, yeah. So uh, you tell me, what's good, what's good? If I look at the, uh, maybe just this, is anyone else using the Ashizu cards? Is it, wow, okay. This is like a Block Dragon at Emancipator using the Ashizu cards. Maybe that's gonna be a thing. Okay, purely that's not a deck for us. So, you know, I think I'm gonna play Shadow, maybe, maybe Shadow, maybe uh, let's like look at this random tournament. Maybe there's gonna be a Shizu cards in here that uh, for some ideas for us. Yeah, whatever the heck this is, we're not gonna really be able to play that anyway. I'm thinking Shadow Ashizu is gonna be something or just Sprite Runic Ashizu, straight up, add it in. And uh, all right. I appreciate you all. I'm recording this late and uh, out of my mind, and I appreciate you all. We're going to be streaming on the new pack day, and I'm trying to look for the picture that Gia sent me, and I really would appreciate if you all show up. It'd mean a lot because we're gonna give away all these cards. Gia put Meta Weekly here for no reason. And uh, all right, thank you all. Good night, good day, good morning. We are out.